Okay, so they're giving us an equation here and then some x values to plug in. So I'm just going to plug them in one at a time. I'll just start up here with the first one. So y equals negative 0 0.5. And I'm going to plug in the x value negative 2. And then just hit the buttons on your calculator, really. I mean, I'll do it by hand. This is half of 2, which is 1. It's positive 1 plus 2. It's 3. And then find that point on the graph. Uh, minus 2 up 3. Right there. There it is. So I'll just go right here. Minus two, three. All right, let's do the next one. Y equals negative zero point five. I'm going to plug in negative one this time. And you get um what's that? Positive point five plus two. 2.5, right? Yeah, positive. Yeah, 2.5. So 2.5. So negative 1 up 2.5. So it'd be right there in the middle. <clears throat> and then for the third one here, negative 0 0.5 times 0, plug it in x0 plus 2. Well, that's just going to be 0 plus 2, 2. That's going to be the point 0, 2 is right there, zero, two. So they're lining up. And then next one, y equals negative 0 0.5. And it's one, which is negative 0 0.5. So negative 0.5 plus two is positive 1.5. Positive 1.5. So that's over one up 1.5 right there. And last one, plug in two, plus two, you get negative one, half of two is one, plus two, positive one. So over two up one, no surprise, they all line up, don't they? That one's over two up one. So there they are, all lined up. See how nicely they all line up? Because it's, it's what we call a linear equation. When you have y, see how that's y equals m, as opposed to if you had like x squared, x squared, as you know, is a u shape, isn't it? <clears throat> or if you had the square root of x, well, that does something like this, and, and on and on you go. We have other kinds of graphs, but these specifically are linear equations. <clears throat> linear, <clears throat> excuse me, a linear equation has x and y to the first power. You can have whatever, you know, whatever else. But y and x are first power. See how this is x and y first power up here. So that means the graph is going to be a line. Let's uh, finish the line. So we just have to connect all those dots with a nice straight line. There we go. And the line keeps going forever. So. Like that. There we go. There's the nice straight line going through all those specific points. Let me again show you <clears throat> on the um, actual tool. Close that one down and go to number 14 here. All right. So here, just they give me a different question. I'm just going to have to hear all this. Click on the answers. And there they are. And so now it wants me, it says it wants me to, let me try to make it a little smaller. That's <laughs> yeah, not all that helpful, is it? So it wants me now to uh, put those points on the graph. So minus two, zero. And see, it says down here, select the this icon to plot the coordinates. So I got to select this and put the points on there. So minus two, zero, minus two, zero, bonk right there. And minus one, minus one bonk right there, zero minus two, bonk right there, over one down three, boom right there, over two down four, boom right there. So I do that first, and then I select this. So select the, that to plot the coordinates. I did that, I, I, I just plotted those points. And then it says, then select this thing to graph it. Okay, I will, I'll select this thing. See, here's other tools. You can make U-shaped graphs and 
V shapes and circles. I'm going to select the line making tool now. And you really just have to click through any, any of those two. Boom. There's, there's the line and the dots. Everything's on there. I'm going to submit it, see if it's a happy. It is. It gives me the green check mark. So you got to put the dots first and then make a line going through those dots, like I just did with the tool. So there we go. Go back to the iPad here. And so there we go on that one.